what is up guys Phoenix here and today we're back to some smaller pixel arts I know I've been doing a lot of big pixel arts on the channel but you know in order to keep my sanity and my peace of mind I decided to go a little bit smaller today and I think I'm gonna make a, a, a bunch more returns to smaller pixel arts in the future but what we're gonna be working on is Mimikyu from the new Pokemon Sun and Moon versions now Mimikyu is a cute little Pokemon who's like kind of dressed up in a cloth pretending to be a Pikachu in this kind of form. I think he has many other forms in the game, hopefully, and it's a really cute Pokemon, so I decided to make a pixel art for it. And what we're gonna do is show two forms today, and that should pop up on the screen for you real quick. And I'm gonna show you when to distinguish between the forms depending on which one you guys like, because I asked on Twitter, I asked, sorry, I, I pronounced things weird. I asked on Twitter, and some people had one that they liked and others had the other, so I'll just split up as it gets to that point. And we'll talk about how to do those changes. So what we're going to be starting off with is grass and blo a block of coal or black wool, whatever you want to use. And we're going to put three flat. And I suggest you put it in the air, maybe one or two blocks. Um, for this pixel art, you're only going to need about 50 by 50 space, I think. Um, you might give yourself a little bit extra room. But yeah, you shouldn't need that much space. It's one of my small, smaller ones. So once you have the three flat right there, we're going to work with the left side. We're going to go up and to the left and down and to the left, six flat. So just put your placement block to the left. And below it and above it, we're gonna put a black and we're gonna put six going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the bottom. And at the top, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the top. So inside this space is gonna be like Mimikyu's true form sticking out from the cloth. And we'll get to that later when we're coloring. But I just want um, you to know why we're doing that. Anyways, from there, we're gonna go towards the center block. So we're gonna come back in like how we have right here with the three. So put your placement block right there. And we're going to put 10 flat going to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now let's go and delete that dirt block. Now from the last block all the way on the left on the 10, we're going to put 1 on top of it. We're then going to go up and to the right, 8 flat. So let's bring it back in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. <laughs> now to lock out this shape, we're just going to go to the final block and put 1 below it. And there should be a one space gap right here, which if you did that, you're, you're on the right track. Let me just zoom out so you can see it properly. And that's pretty much the left side. Now for the right side of his lower half, we're going to go to the right where we have the three flat right here. And what we're going to first do is do the same thing we did here, except instead of six flat, we're going to put three flat. So put your placement block on the right side and below it and above it, we're going to put three flat going to the right. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we need to join it together again, kind of like we did with the 10 flat, except we're gonna go in the center, two flat to the right, one, two. We're then gonna go down into the right, eight flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from the final block in the eight flat, what we're gonna do is put one above it, like so. We're then gonna put another above it. We're gonna put three to the left, one, two, three. And then we're gonna put four to the right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so it should be a little bit uneven, but it's not too bad. Anyways, we're on the left side right here. We're gonna close this shape out as well by putting one below the final block on the left side. So there should be a two hole gap right there. And now we're done with the bottom basically. So we can build up from the left or right side and we wouldn't have a problem. I'm gonna continue from the left side though because we, always, we usually do that, so let's keep the pattern the same. So on the left side where we have the eight flat right here, we're gonna to go to the final block on the left side, so this one right here, and put two on top of it. So one, two. Now from that second one on top, we're gonna to put one extra to the left and then four to the right. One, two, three, four. After that, we're gonna go up and to the right, four vertical. So placement block on the right side, one, two, three, four. Up and to the right, three vertical, two times in a row. So placement block, one, two, three. Placement block again, one, two, three. Perfect. Now, we're gonna keep going up and to the right until we reach the neck area, and we're almost there actually. Like I said, this is one of my smaller builds, which is why it's so fun. I can do it all in one tutorial. It doesn't require a huge time commitment from you guys. And also it comes out looking awesome. So we're gonna go up and to the right, two vertical again. Place some block on the right side or top every time, just so you can easily do this. One, two. Up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the right, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. Place some block. One, two. 
and I'll just delete the dirt blocks. They're starting to add up. I think we had like five or six of them just lying around here. Yep. And now this is the farthest point in the neck. So we're gonna start going to the left and starting the head now. And you can bring up the right side if you want, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of the left side and just stick it out. So from the two vertical we have right here, we're gonna up and to the left one single. Up and to the left two vertical, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. Up and to the left three vertical. One, two, three. Up until left four vertical. One, two, three, four. And this is the farthest point to the left. So we're gonna start going to the right now and circling out the head. So on the right side, putting your place block on the right side, we're gonna go up and to the right four singles. One, two, three, four. Up and to the right two flat. Up and to the right three single. One, two, three. And now we're actually ready to start the ears. So let's delete these dirt blocks. This is like the smallest part, like his head is really small. So we're ready to start the ears now. So I'm gonna do the separation in the ears last, but we're gonna get the shape going. So we're gonna up and to the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. We're still putting our placement blocks on the right side. Up and to the right two vertical. One, two. Up and to the right four vertical again. One, two, three, four. Except on this second set of four vertical, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the second block. So the second block from the bottom and the fourth block, which is the one on the top. And we're gonna do two things. On the second block, we're gonna put one to the right. And we'll come back to that later. On the top block, we're gonna keep going up. So we're gonna go up and to the right two vertical. Up and to the right two single. One, two. Up and to the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. Up and to the right one single. And it's getting ready to flatten out now. So we're gonna up and to the right, three flat. And now it's time to drop it back down. So on the final block in the three flat, we're gonna put one below it. That pretty much sums up the shape of the ear. Um, right here, where we had the one on the right, it's gonna connect to what we're bringing down now, but just not yet. <laughs> so continuing, we're gonna go down into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down into the right, two vertical. One, two. Down into the left, seven vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like I said, that should touch down with what we have over here. So we're gonna go back to the one single and bring it over. We're gonna go up into the right, two flat, then three flat, and we should touch the wall. So let's just do that. So place some lock on the right side, two flat, and then three flat, one, two, three and there we go easy now continuing on the ear we're gonna go down into the left six vertical one two three four five six down into the right four single one two three four down to the right two vertical Down to the right one single. Down to the right three flat. So if you're not able to keep up, I just realized I went a little bit fast there. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it. Also make sure you just slow down the video if you have to. So after the seven vertical we had right there, we had six, one, two, three, four singles, two vertical, one single, and then three flat. And we're actually starting the next ear right now. So if you're wondering why is it flattening out now, he's kind of slanted with, with his facial structure. So we're starting the next ear and we're gonna start bringing it down towards the rest of his body. So from that three flat, we're gonna up and to the right 11 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We're then gonna go down and to the right two vertical and head towards the point of his ear. Down to the right three single, one, two, three. Down to the right five vertical, one, two, three, four, five. And from the second to last block in the five vertical, we're gonna put one to the left. We're then gonna go up and to the left two flat, one, two. Up and to the left two single. Up until left four flat, one, two, three, four. And from the fourth block, so this final one right here, we're gonna do two things with it. First, we're gonna put two on top, one, two. 
and then go up into the right two vertical and that locks out the ear then going back to our end of the four flat right here we're gonna go to the left of it put a placement block so that we can go down to the left two flat three times in a row so one two three easy now from the final set of two flat right here we're gonna go to the left block and we're gonna put one extra coal to next to it like that and then we're gonna put one on top and one below it so it looks like a sideward T from there we're gonna start shaping out the head so we're gonna go down to the left two vertical three times in a row so that means we're gonna put placement block like that and then two vertical and we're gonna do that three times so this is one placement block underneath two and then three and you just clean up all the dirt once you're done after that we're gonna flatten out so we're gonna go down to the left one single as our transition block and then we're gonna flatten out with two flat one two and then down to the left seven flat one two three four five six seven once you have this seven flat right here we're going to start from the left and count three blocks over one two three and once you have that block we're going to put two extra black walls underneath it or coal whatever you want to call them they're the same thing to me now we're going to go down into the right two vertical And if you wanted to mark off some of the shading, I'll do it right now for you. Um, take out a block that's um, easily swappable, I guess. So um, we'll just put any piece of clay for now, because I don't know if you guys are choosing the yellow version or the gray version of a Mimic U. So we're just going to put, actually, let's put a chunk of wood there. So where I'm putting the wood is where we're going to outline the his shading areas. So let me actually just turn the controller back on. There we go. So on this first, I mean, not first, second, Two vertical we have right here we're going to, go to the bottom block and we're going to put one wood to the left of it and we'll come back to that when we on shade later and on the seven fly right here we're going to put one wood to the left of the end of that and that's what we'll come back to when we want to shade as well so just remember that when you want to shade i'll ask you which color which version you want to do you'll pick your color and shade it accordingly but for now we're going to switch back to our grass and black um black wool or coal and continue so we're going to down into the right, one single, down into the right, two vertical, down into the right, three vertical, two times in a row. So placement block, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're really close to the end right here. So we'll start doing detail next. Also his tail, we haven't started his tail yet, but you guys will see it when we get to it. His tail is actually like a piece of wood that's made to look like a Pikachu's tail. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to go down into the right, two flat. Down to the right three flat, one, two, three, and then down to the right one single. And I should touch down, completing the shape. So you guys have your complete frame so far. We have to do inner details and the tail right now. So we'll do the tail next from the two flat right here. That's in between the three flat and the three vertical. So from the two flat, we're gonna go up and to the right from it. Two singles, one, two. Up and to the right two vertical. One, two, up into the right one single, up into the right three vertical, one, two, three, up into the right two flat three times in a row. So this is where it gets a little tricky. So we have placement block on the right side, one, two, placement block again. We're going to do this three times. So this is the first time, second time, third time, easy. Oops, I keep deleting the wrong block. There we go. We have to get rid of the dirt. Sorry. Now, here's where we have a little split in the tail. We're going to go up and to the right one single. Up and to the right two flat. And from the single and the right block into two flat, we're going to have to do like a little connection piece right here. So for starting with the single, we're going to put nine blocks on top of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then going to the right block into two flat. We're gonna put seven blocks on top of it. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, five, six, seven. And it should end one block below the one we have on the left. All we're gonna do with what we have on the left is add an extra block to the right of the end. So it connects at a diagonal. And also has this two flat at the top, which is what we're looking for. 
Now going down to the left from there, we're gonna go down to the left two flat, three times in a row. So one, two. See, so it's connected directly, but it kind of is at the diagonal at the same time. So we're gonna do three. So this is one. Place some block underneath. Two. And three. We're then gonna go down into the left, four singles. One, two, three, four. Down into the left, two vertical. Down into the right, two vertical, so it's zigzagging back and forth just to get the distance. Down into the left, one single. Down into the left, two vertical. Down into the right, two vertical. And I think I messed up somewhere. Um, I wasn't keeping proper count, so let me just actually make sure I'm doing it correctly. We have two, 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 one, two, three, four, then two. Yep, I messed up somewhere. Right here, let's just delete these last sets. So delete this two, this two, this one, and this two. Keep the first two vertical after the four singles, and we'll continue from there. Sorry about that. What we're first gonna do is go down to left a second set of two vertical. So it's down into the left two times in a row, you see? Two vertical, two vertical. We haven't gone to the right yet. After you have those two in a row, we'll go down into the right, two vertical. And to make sure you have the right line up, you're down into the right two vertical. The bottom block should line up with the top block of this two over here. And if it does, you're in the right spot. Perfect. Good thing I caught that error before it went on too far. We're now gonna go down into the left one single down to the left, two vertical, down to the right, two vertical, and then down to the left, one single, and it should end on the center block of this three vertical right here, which is good. It looks like it's, it's in the right spot. Now we're gonna put a little bit of detail after we delete these dirt blocks in the center of the tail because the tail does have a bit of shading as well. And this part, it doesn't matter which version you're doing, it's gonna be the same, so that's pretty cool. Um, what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna go to the two flat we have right here, that's after the three vertical. And on the left block, we're gonna put two placement blocks above it. And then we're gonna follow that up with a black wool. Now from that black wool, we're gonna go up and to the left, one single. Down to the left, one single. And that's one of the spots. Next, we're gonna go to the original starting single right here on the right side. And we're gonna put a placement block on top of it and then we're gonna go up and to the right two single pieces of black wool or black hole. There we go. So those are the spots in the tail. Now, if we wanted to color his tail, which I don't think we're doing yet, but we might want to real soon because we're almost done. Um, I think we're gonna be using brown wool and one of the um, types of planks. I'm not sure if it's... Um, a dark plank or it's a light plank. I'm pretty sure it's birch plank, but we'll check in a second, hold on. So we're gonna use oak planks and brown wool. So let me actually show you where the oak planks come in. So we're gonna go to where we have this two vertical on the right side, where we just started the tail, and we're gonna go up and to the left from it, two oak planks at a diagonal. So one, two, and that actually just is what you need right there. We can then fill in whatever's below it, not above it, with the oak planks and everything above it we're gonna fill in with the brown wool let me get the brown wool out and let's also get a swiftness potion just to speed this up a little bit because we don't have to fill it in but i kind of want to i think i built this on pc so i don't even have one on my xbox 360 yet so i think i'll fully color this one in later just so that if i ever put this map up for download um you guys have the fully colored mimic you because it won't be on my other map this is my tutorial map not my finished map so yeah so we have brown 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 let's fill in this perfect now let's work on other details besides the tail there's some shading here and also the eyes we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up though so what we're gonna first do is go to where we have this three vertical right here which is below our shading if you see see down to the right we have one two and three vertical right here we're gonna go to the top block in the three vertical and we're gonna put five or is it five um let's see let's try six six pieces of dirt blocks going to the left one two three four five six and that's to the left of the top block in that three vertical see where i'm at 
So we're gonna try six and if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. But after the six, we're gonna put one black wool. And from that black, we're gonna put one on top and one below. We're still doing, it's like the eyes in the center of the shirt. If you're wondering what I'm doing, now ignoring the bottom block, the top and the middle block are gonna get one to the left of each of them. And then we're gonna add an extra block to the top. So it's kind of lopsided. So that's one eyeball. Then staying with this bottom row right here, we're gonna put three placement blocks to the left and then a black wool. Now from there, we're gonna put one on top and one below of that black wool. And then the two top blocks are gonna get one to the left too. And that's it for the eyes on his shirt or whatever you wanna call it, it's cloth. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go over the shading next. So we're gonna switch to our oak planks and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna outline it with the planks and you guys can swap in the colors as you want. And I'll explain what I mean. Um, in version one, you're gonna be using yellow stained clay for this part instead of oak planks. And in version two, you're gonna be using light gray wool for this, okay? So if you wanna just do your versions now and pick your color, um, yellow one's color, I mean, version one's color palette is yellow wool and yellow stained clay. And version two's color palette is light gray wool and white stained clay. So you can pick your colors right now and I'll tell you where to put each. So yeah, this is where you're gonna put your yellow stained clay or your light gray wool. So pick your colors now and we'll start now. So first we're gonna go up and to the left, three flat, one, two, three. Up and to the left, five flat, one, two, three, four, five. Down and to the left, three flat, one, two, three. Down to the left, two flat, and then down to the left, one single. Now, if you're one of those people who don't like to color in everything right away, I'm not gonna be coloring in, so you guys can just look at my build and wherever you see oak planks, you know that's where your color swaps are gonna be. So that's why I'm not picking a definite version to build. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in with planks. Now from the one single we have right here on the left side of our seven flat, we're gonna go up and to the left, three flat. One, two, three. Up and to the left, two flat. And then up and to the left, two singles. So one, two. And now you're gonna swap all these blocks out. So all the light, I mean, the, the planks are gonna be changed to the color and everything in between them are gonna be that color. Um, if you're doing version one, below it is all gonna be yellow wool. And version two, all this is gonna be white stained clay. Now down here in these holes, these gaps right here, these are gonna be dark gray wool. And that right there is gonna be dark gray wool as well. So now let's move up to the face. We'll get the face detail done and I'll talk to you about that too. So moving on to the face, we're gonna start where we have this long strip kind of close to where we did the shading. So the seven flat right here. And what I want you to do is we're gonna start from the right side and count three blocks over. One, two, three. We're then gonna put one placement block on top of that. So look at what looks three blocks over and one placement block on top of that. We're then going to go and put our red wool for his cheeks, because um, Pikachu has red puffy cheeks. So we're gonna put red wool on top. We're then gonna put one to the left, up and to the left one single. And if you're wondering why we're starting with the cheeks, it's because it's the closest part to his mouth. So we'll just start the mouth after we're done with the cheek. Then on the right side, we're gonna up and to the right one single as well. Up and to the right, two flat. And from the right block in the two flat, we're gonna put two on top of it, just to kind of get the circular shape going. We're then gonna go up and to the left, two flat. Down and to the left, one single. And now we can swap over to our black hole because this is where the mouth meets up with the cheek and kind of closes out the shape for it. Underneath this single, we're gonna put one black. We're then gonna go down into the left, four single. One, two, three, four. And as you can see now, the, the shape on the cheek is officially locked out. There's no gaps, so we can actually color it in all red. Whoops. But there is a point in it that we're gonna swap out. So let's get a piece of glass. Let's get either a glass or a white stained glass. Is there a white stained glass? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use white stained glass. And what we're gonna do is make some holes in his cheek because his makeup or whatever that's on the cloth isn't perfect. 
So we wanna make it look kind of sloppy or shady. So what we're gonna do is where we have this one single right here on the bottom, above it, we're gonna knock that block out. And up and to the right from it, we're gonna knock that block out as well. And we're gonna swap those with either glass or white stained glass. And that's it for that cheek. Moving on to the mouth. On the final block over here, we're gonna put one on top. We're then gonna go up and to the left, two flat. Up and to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And from the block all the way on the left, we're gonna add four to the top of it because we already have one and we need it to be five as well. So adding four to the top makes five. Simple math, guys. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, we can start the shading, we can start the other cheek, and we can also start the eyes. I think we're gonna start the other cheek first, then shading, then eyes, okay? So, going to the top block right here, we're gonna switch over to our red again, and we're gonna put four to the left of it. One, two, three, four, and it should touch the wall. Now from the block all the way on the left side, we're gonna add three to the top of that. One, two, three. We're then gonna go up and to the right, three flat. And now just simply to close out the shape, we're just gonna bring this down and it should connect with what we started with. Very easy to do. Now on the top here, we should have three flat pieces of red kind of just add their own layer. Uh, below the middle one, we're gonna put the white stained glass. And then we're gonna go down to the left one, white stained glass, like so. And now you can color it all in with red. So this is how the cheek should look. Now let's start the shading and then we'll start the eye. So for the shading, we'll take the oak planks out again. And below this cheek on the left side, you see how we have this three vertical pieces of black hole? We start the red on the top one. On the bottom one, we're gonna put four pieces of our shading to the right. So like I said, this is either gonna be yellow stained clay or light gray wool for you. On the opposite side of the mouth, we're gonna go up one row. So right here and we're gonna extend this over but this actually extends over into one of the eyeballs so I think we have to build the eyeball first before I extend it over so that's a miscalculation on my part so you can just mark it so you know where we're gonna bring it over from okay so let's go over to the right cheek and we'll build that eyeball first and then we'll do the shading because I didn't even realize that I used the eyeball as a marker to decide where the shading lines up so on the right cheek where we have the two flat right here at the top we're gonna put one layer of dirt above them and then one layer of black hole above it. Now from that layer of black hole, we're gonna put an extra one to the right side. Up and to the right, six vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. From the top block into six, we're gonna put two to the left. We're then gonna put two below this one on the left. Down to the left, three vertical. And this should close out the shape, one, two, three, and it did. And before I do the inner detail of this eyeball, we're gonna do exactly what I said for the shading. We're gonna extend it over oak planks until it touches the black wool or the coal. So extend this over and boom, it should touch the top block there. Actually, let me count and see how many blocks is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's 12 in length. If you guys wanna do that before you build the eye, just make sure you put 12 over from the mouth one block up and that should be the right spot now to finish the shading to the right side of the eye what we're going to do is drop down over here where we have the two vertical right here so this two vertical in between the three vertical that starts the ear and the two vertical that lines up with the right cheek we're going to go to the top block and put one to the left up and to the left two vertical and then up and to the left one single and that's that for the shading so you can swap those blocks out so you're gonna swap the, the planks out with yellow stained clay or light gray wool and then above it it's gonna be all that same color as well um, this whole area below it and in between the other shading is gonna be either white stained clay or yellow wool for you but now let's work on the eyes and also, if I didn't mention before, the ears right here, these are gonna be gray stained wool, not gray stained wool, but gray stained, I mean gray wool, sorry. Gray wool right there, and gray wool in there. 
So let's start with the second eye and then we'll go over the insides of the eyes. So going to the left cheek, we're gonna see these top three blocks. One, two, three. And to the right of each of them, we're gonna put a placement block like so. Then we're gonna put one black wool after that. Now from those three black wools, we're gonna go to the bottom block and put three extra to the right there. One, two, three. Then on the final block, we're gonna put one going up. Up into the right three vertical. And from the top block in that three vertical, we're gonna put extra two to the left. And I guess you know how to close out the shape. We're just gonna put one single down into the left to close out the shape, which seals out the second eye and pretty much finishes up the entire pixel art. All we need to do is put the glass in the eye like we did in the cheeks. So where we're gonna put the glass is on the left eye in the center block right here, we're gonna put one below it. Then down to the left, one single glass. And you can color that in now with the block on um, the coal or the black wool. Pretty sure it doesn't matter. And on the right eye, it's kind of the same thing, center block. We're gonna put one coal below it, two glass going down. Then we're gonna put one coal, um, coal below that. And then we're gonna go down to the left one glass. So it looks like this. Now you can color this all in. And that's pretty much it guys. You're done with the pixel right now. Um, I am gonna talk about, actually I'm gonna pop up the finished build, but let me just show you the colors. If you are doing build number one, you're gonna need yellow stained clay and yellow wool. And both builds now need gray wool for down there and the inner ears. But you pretty much just need yellow wool for here and here and yellow stained clay for up there and in there. And the planks aren't supposed to stay there. Remember, swap your planks with the yellow stained clay. And now if you're doing build number two, we're gonna get light gray wool. So this is light gray wool. And we're gonna get white stained clay. And we're gonna do the same thing. The white stained clay is gonna replace um, down here and up there. And the light gray wool is gonna replace the planks and inside the plank area and the plank up there and inside that plank area. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I'm going to pop up the finished build so you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this build. I had fun making it. I also had fun making a smaller build. It's less commitment and it's not like strenuous on me. Um, I'm gonna try and get back to grinding these pixel arts out guys. I'm gonna try to do a better job. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. This is Phoenix and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.